Hello, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making a no-bake blueberry lemon cream pie. This is one of our favorite pies, especially this time of year. It's so cool and refreshing, not to mention it's so easy to make. Now the first thing that I'm starting with is sweetened condensed milk. I'm a true believer that if it has sweetened condensed milk in it, it's got to be good. And this pie definitely doesn't disappoint. Now we've got the lemon portion of the pie. This is one third cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Now you can definitely use the bottled lemon juice if you'd like, take a shortcut, but I have some beautiful lemons here and I couldn't help but to use them. Now this is going right in and I'm gonna whisk this together just until it gets nice and thick. I would have to say this is my husband's new favorite pie. I made one a couple of weeks ago and he devoured it, which is unusual. Usually I'll make a pie or a cake and give a portion of it away because by the time you get to the end of it, you're just like, oh, I'm done with that. Well, he ate every single bit. And look here, see how that's gotten nice and creamy. The next thing that we're adding is, you guessed it, good old whipped topping. Now, if you'd like to add eight ounces of fresh whipped cream, you can definitely do this. But I will say that this whipped topping is delicious in this pie. Now, I'm just going to fold this Cool Whip in. I don't want to stir it. I just want to gently fold it. That way, I'm not going to deflate my whipped topping. There we go. Now, we're going to add some toasted pecans. This is one cup of toasted pecans. And you know, I always get my pecans at Shoot Pecan Company here in Dothan. They're just fantastic. And next, I've got two cups of fresh blueberries. I'll give you a tip on your blueberries and washing them and preserving their life. If you'll wash these in water and about a quarter cup of vinegar and store them in a glass jar in the refrigerator, they will last for almost a month. That's a great tip. Fruit can be very perishable and especially berries. That is a great way to preserve them. I also do the same thing with my strawberries. Now I'm folding this in and just lightly and gently and I've got one more ingredient that I'm going to bring into the mix. I'm going to use some fresh lemon zest and I'm going to grate about a teaspoon. Again, this fresh lemon is going to give this pie so much flavor and freshness. And in that goes. I love the zest of the lemon. And look at this luscious filling. Oh my goodness. It doesn't get better than that. Now for the pie crust. This recipe calls for a nine inch graham cracker crust and you can definitely buy that pie crust from the grocery store and you have really created a shortcut. But if you're looking for a great graham cracker crust recipe, check my page. I've got a delicious one. And really, I use both. It just depends on how much time I have on my hands. And this is going right into this pie crust. Oh, doesn't this look luscious and delicious? Now, if you'd like, you can create two pies with this filling. Two of the store-bought pie crust is perfect, but I am going for just that deep dish pie look and filling it to the brim. And by the way, this pie freezes beautifully. Now I'm going to take a few more of these fresh blueberries and I'm just going to put them 
right on the top. This lets everybody know that this is a blueberry pie. And quick blueberry fact. Did you know that in the beginning, blueberries were called starberries? And the reason why is because they had this little star on the tip. But eventually, the name blueberry took off and there you go. And just to let people know that there's pecans in this, I'm gonna sprinkle a few pecans over the top. Now this needs to be refrigerated. It's best if you can make it the day before and then serve it the next day. Now, if you just can't wait, you can refrigerate it for as little as two hours before serving it. Just give it time for all these flavors to melt together and the pie to sit. All right, in the fridge it goes, and let's see if I can keep my husband away for the next two hours. This pie looks delicious, and I can't wait another minute to taste it. Y'all, look at the blueberries. Can you see that? Now for the taste. Mm. This is the best blueberry lemon cream pie. The lemon juice gives such a pop of freshness along with the fresh blueberries. Then you get the delicious pecans and graham cracker crust. It's just the perfect combination. Y'all have got to try this recipe. I promise it will be worth the little effort that you put into it. You're a blessing to me. Thanks so much for watching today. Please press that like button and subscribe to Kathy Southern Kitchen on Facebook and YouTube. Lots of good content on both. I'll see you next time. Bye.